love from Love of Love 11.99. And today I'm going to be showing you how to do some really cute floral and stripe nails for spring. So the things you'll need for this are base coat. I will be using OPI's natural nail base coat. You will also need white nail polish. I will be using OPI's Na OPI's Alpine Snow. You will also need a black polish. I will be using Wet n Wild's black cream. You also need like a mint or green polish. I'll be using Jenna Hips um, Fresh Maker. You will also need a light red, like a more of a pinky kind of red color, or just a red. Um, mine is more of a pinky red when you actually put it on the nail. I'm using but I'm using Essie's Forever Yummy. You'll also need a pink. I'm using Bonita's Tag Your It. Uh, you will also need a yellow polish. I'm using Sinful Colors Let's Meet. And finally, you will need top coat. I'm using Essie's Good To Go top coat. And then, as for the tools, you will need either a striper nail art brush or striping tape um, you can also DIY your own striping tape by just cutting really really thin strips of tape regular scotch tape or masking tape and this basically just helps make um, straighter lines um, you can buy a bunch for from Amazon for not too much money that's what I did I got like 30 of them from Amazon and they were not very much so yeah, I'm just going to use striping tape, but again, you can use a thin nail art brush or a striper. And you, it will have to be um, a black striper if you are using a striper. Um, and then you will also need some medium or small dotting tools depending on your nail size and how many dots you want to add to this floral print. Um, so I have... Three different dotting tools and you can do different sizes I'm just gonna be you be using one size but I need to see what one fits my nail the best and then finally you will need a nail art brush I got this from a kit that I got in from Amazon and um, yeah it's broken <laughs> so this is how it looks it's super thin um, you can you don't have they don't have to be like short like mine. I have some longer ones It's just I feel I have more control over the shorter ones like here's a longer one So it doesn't matter about the size you just want to see what one you have more control with and if you do not have um, Nail art brushes you can use a yellow striper But I do not have a yellow striper So I'm going to be using nail art brushes so that is basically the tools you will need. So now let's get started. Okay, so the first step in doing the flower is you're gonna take your green or like mint kind of colored nail polish and take it on a small um, nail art brush. So mine just rolled away. <laughs> so I'm just gonna take the polish out a bit and just I'm just dropping it onto a piece of paper, you can do it on tin foil, or you can directly take the polish from the brush or bottle. So um, I might have to do what I just the taking it, take the polish from the brush or bottle, because I don't have much of this left. So let's see. Okay, so you're going to choose one of the bottom corners of your nail. I'm going to do the right side just because it's going to be easier for me to draw the actual flower on the right but it does not matter what side you do and then you're going to make like a line coming out from that corner that you chose and you don't want it to be super long because you're going to want to fit the flower it's okay if the edge and it's also okay if the edge is like Mine is like right there, it's like messed up kind of. That is totally fine because we, you can totally go over it with the flower um, when we're drawing the flower. So then you're gonna take that same brush 
and okay and you're just gonna like not touching the actual um stem you're gonna make like just these little like short lines coming out to represent leaves so okay so i just have to get the polish from the brush because i don't have much left so that's what i am currently doing this might be easier yeah it's easier for me to do too and you guys to probably see as well so let's go I'm just touching it up and there we go okay so there's that I love how that looks already I'm just cleaning my brush and you're just gonna do that to your other nails that you're gonna do the flower on so I need to do it on my thumb and then I'll be okay, back. So I actually had them touch because the last time I did this, I didn't have them touched, like the leaves touching. So I just wanted to change it up a bit, but you don't have to have them touch. So I did it to this um, nail as well. And now we're going to move on to doing the actual flower. So to do this, you're going to want to take a nail art brush and your pink nail polish. So just, I'm going to take this one. And just drip it somewhere or get it straight from the bottle onto the brush. Okay, so now you're going to take the polish on a nail art brush, like I said. You don't want too much on here. So I'm just wiping some off and my hand just got stuck to the striping tape. Let me get that off. Ugh. Okay, there we go. So now to, uh oh, it's pulling off. So hopefully there's no more problems. So now to make the actual flower, you're gonna make like this long stretched out like U shape. Okay, and after you've done that, like at the top you wanna curve it in, like do three bumps, just like that. And now you can fill it in. There's striping tape on my hand again, so I'm just taking that off. I should probably throw that away. But, yeah. So, there we go. I'm just trying to make it look the same shade everywhere. Okay, so there's that, and I'm just gonna do it to my. So there's my flower so far on my thumb and on my ring finger. Now with a with a nail art brush, and this time you're gonna take that red or like light pink kind of color, and you are going to make like. Just little lines in it to add some detail. You so just add like lines around the out, like on the inside, but like around it. If that makes any sense. So just add them in the flower, and it's, they're just gonna be like little lines around it and stuff. This isn't really hard. So, it looks way harder than it is, actually. So, it's not very hard to do at all. Okay. So, there it is. So, I'm just going to clean my brush okay and now you're gonna take your yellow nail polish so, let me just take that 
And again, you're gonna place it on your nail art brush, but if you have a yellow striper, you can use that. Just so you're gonna need yellow polish on a brush or something. And now, you're just gonna like make, you don't want too much um, polish on here, and I still have color on my brush, so let me just clean that. There we go, now you're gonna make like, these little lines coming out of the flower and first you just like just a little bit of yellow coming out from the bottom of the flower only so you only want it from at the bottom you don't want it around the whole flower like you want it in the, coming out from the bottom and going to the middle and you want to try to make this bright So, let's do it to both. Okay, I really like how this looks. Okay. So, you can go over it a few times if needed, like I need to. Because mine is not that bright. Okay, I love how that looks. Okay, so the last step. To this is to take a dotting tool and place some yellow polish on it and just dot dots around like the flower in clusters of two. A pretty small dotting tool because I don't have much room left on my nail but if you have quite a bit of room because you made a small flower you will be able to use a larger dotting tool. So there's my size. So again, you're just going to take the yellow polish that you used for the center of the flower and you're going to make just some dots like in empty spaces on your nail. So, yeah. And you can make them coming off the nail too. So, just going to add one right there. So, there's that one. Now, let me do it to the snail. You don't want them to actually touch the flower because then they're going to blend in with the flower, with the flower and you don't want that. So, and you also want to leave some space between your clusters. So, there are my nails. Let me. So, there's that one and that one. Uh oh. Okay. So, yeah, you are basically done. All you gotta do is add your Okay, top so coat. last step to, do, to this manicure is to seal it in with some top coat. Don't forget to subscribe, like, check out part one, and leave any video requests down below. And I will see you guys later. Bye.